And last question, will Tango be in this game? So far, no, no. Okay, this is Dick. The Tacom Man, <laughs> one two three three one two three two one from DeviantArt, and I was wondering, what kind of gimmicks we'll be seeing in the Robot Master stages? Will there be areas of the game where Robot Master weapons will be necessary to enter, say like side rooms, one ups, and E tanks? And are you referencing any of their fan games or development that you know on YouTube and DeviantArt? So the idea is here. I got three questions here. Okay, the first question: uh, What kind of gimmicks? So. I already mentioned Joltman. Joltman has these timed bombs and also has directional jolt boxes that move around. So you'll have to avoid electric shocks and you'll have to also avoid being uh, falling into pits based on bombs. So i.e. those bombs that go dip, 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 boom with the 3, 2, 1. Yeah, those guys are going to be in Joltman's level. Uh, Clantman's level is very much, if you ever played Mega Man X6 and have that, that utter hate of Metal Shark player stage... Uh, that's going to be very familiar with that and Dustman. So, Clantman's level sort of like that. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of these crushers, sort of like what you see in in uh, in Mega Man Five and Mega Man Four, especially Dustman's level. So that's going to be what uh, Clantman's level is going to be a lot like. Uh, Illusion Man's level is going to be uh, obviously since the name. There's going to be a lot of fighting in that level, so it's going to be like you're going to do a lot of mid bosses. You're going to have to beat a lot of the enemies, and there'll be a lot of illusions. So a lot of invisible blocks and Yoku blocks. Okay, Primal Man is an amusement park, so the idea there will be some rides that you'll get to use. And it'll be based off a of Doki Doki amusement park. Otherwise, I'm not going to pronounce the Japanese word for it. If you've ever played that game, the uh, jungle stage, it's going to be sort of like that. If you want some idea, mixed with some amusement park rides, which will be kind of fun. Uh, Scorch Man's level has lava pits, and the lava pits have have platforms on them so basically you'll have platforms that you'll be able to have to go on or you have to push rocks into the water and uh, well not water lava pits and you'll be able to traverse the pit using the platforms toon woman's level toon woman's level uses spotlights so if you ever hated the idea of using spotlights toon woman's is that level <laughs> wait frigid frigid man stage is frigid man stage is the idea that you have Okay, if you want it, it's basically Bubble Man's level mixed with Freeze Man's level. That's kind of the idea of Frigid Man stage. Oh yeah, Cypher Man's level. Cypher Man's level will be a puzzle-based level where you have to defeat enemies in particular orders and putting and moving objects to particular spots. So it's kind of like if you took Astro Man's level mixed with Sword Man's level. So it's sort of like that idea. Or will there be areas that the Robot Master's weapons are necessary? I already answered that. Yes. Uh, and lastly, uh... Probably not, but uh, I might possibly. Depends. Like, I might make some enemies to kind of spoof something else. So, so far, maybe. That's a maybe. Who will be the bosses you fight when you play the retro Wily stage? If it, if you don't know what that stage is, that's basically the fourth Wily stage. The fourth Wily stage, beware, that is going to be a hard level. And just in the fact that it's really long. Uh, you get to replay a lot of your most hated moments in Mega Man. So, you can see why he's pulling the stops. Well, not all of them. I made some of them kind of easy, though. But I balanced it out, so it's kind of decent. So, the idea is you do two retro sub-stages, then you fight two Robot Masters. Then you do this again and again, up till you get all ten. So, you'll basically be doing two, four, six, eight. And this is how you're going to be doing the Robot Master refights. So, Raging Banabo asks... <laughs> Daddy, my boy! King Harakan reference for the win. I've got good questions for Mega Man Eternal. In Primal Man stage, what gimmicks will we be seeing in that stage? Also about Primal Man stage, what do you think of Tozuku will be fitting for Primal Man stage? Uh, that's a good question. I do not know what Tozuku kuns are. So you might need to re remind me in the comment section, please. I, I may be just totally having a brain fart. But the gimmick is that it's a music park. And I've already kind of mentioned that already. Will there be a hidden boss like that, I, 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 for example, my boogie? This question's out of curiosity. Actually, I've been kind of curious if I can use your boogie guy in Primal Man stage, because he kind of fit really nicely into an amusement park kind of theme, as kind of like a boss that controls the amusement park rides. Uh, okay, so the last question. Not really about Mega Man Eternal, but for the lulls. What is the best thing before Sly Spread? Uh, I would say, best thing before Sly Spread. 
I would say science. Science, yes. Science. Ha. I win with science. <laughs> what do you think it, this game is going to be... F well, when do you think it's going to be finished? I already answered that. How are you going to present it when it's said finished? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a video, obviously, on YouTube. But I'm also going to put a download link on my website, pagewizardgames.com. And lastly, I'll be posting it on any of the forums that are well-known and DeviantArt. Okay, Samurai Kura... <laughs> I'm so terrible at pronouncing names at times. I feel so bad because you're like one of my favorites on YouTube. Uh, Samurai Karo... Karo... Karosu... Samurai Karosu... Oh, ass. What Mega Man game would you say most influenced you in making this game? Great question, actually. This is a wonderful question. Because some people have been criticizing some of my project work based on the fact that they think it's going to be like Mega Man 2 or 3. Actually, this game is highly inspired by Mega Man 5, my favorite classic series game. And aside from that, it's Mega Man 7 and... Yeah, Mega Man 7, Mega Man 5, and Mega Man 4 are the main inspirations of this game. Okay, Monster X fan. Can you, can you put the old Jolt Man back? No, I'm not going to. Will the Mega Man, the Rock Man killers have their themes for Mega Man 10? No. Actually, Se Seba MK fan is making that theme. Right. Metroid Guardian asks, I'm, I'm Golden Emperor of my own kingdom. And I'm Silver. His, si his sister, Golden, asks, I have a couple questions for you. Silver asks, one, do you like kittens? Yes, I do. Kittens are cute. Uh, Golden asks, what kind of question is that? <laughs> Silver asks, a very good one. Golden asks, whatever, number two. Will Base ever defeat Mega Man to prove he's the toughest robot? Maybe, I don't know, that's a good question. Uh, three, is there anything else you're working on? Actually, yes, uh, I'm planning to work on Elements Fall of the Set after this and Pro Development, I'm going to be using Unity. Uh, okay, that hopefully that answers your question. I'm working on my research also and some educational stuff too. Okay, after that, uh, and four, what is your next project after this? I just answered that question. So, then Silver asks, Five, do you think I'm cute? Uh, I don't know what Silver looks like, so... But probably cute. Uh, golden. God, I'm surrounded by fools! <laughs> Did you have any major problem during development of this game? What is your favorite breakfast? Breakfast? Okay, major problems. Okay, ladders are my big problem with this engine I cooked up. So, actually, I'm still debugging those. Major problem? That is the major problem. And my favorite breakfast is pasta. As funny as that sounds, I'm not really a breakfast person. Anyways, I hope that answers all your questions, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, or I glossed over a question a little bit wrong, or if not, just tell me in the comments below. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you very much, and have yourself a beautiful day.